This is the kitten. You know what? Kittens are the babies of cats. Here in the rectory where I stand, there are so many cats. This, this, and this. For about more than seven months I am living here, I didn't observe that cats do dancing. They're just keeping on. So in this video, I am going to show you the fundamental arms and feet positions in Philippine Pock Dance. But before that, I want to share you something. When I was a child, I used to dance with my classmates. And now, I'm so glad that we have this subject because it added me more about dancing, especially the fundamentals of arms and feet positions in folk dance. According to this course, there are five fundamentals or basic positions in folk dance that are commonly termed as first position, second position, third position, fourth position, and fifth position in arms and feet. So let's do first the positions in the arms. Both arms raised in a circle in front of chest with the fingertips. Both arms raised sideward with a graceful curve at shoulder level. One arm raised sideward as in second position with the other arm raised upward. One arm raised in front as in first position and the other arm raised overhead. Both arms raised overhead. So we're done demonstrating the five positions in the arms. And for now, I'm going to apply the movements alternately with music. And then for now, let's move on to the positions in the feet. Feet close together, toes apart with an angle of about 45 degrees. Feet apart sideward of about a pace distance. Feel of one foot close to instep of other foot. One foot in front of other foot of a pace distance. Heel of front foot close to big toe of rear foot. So we're done demonstrating the five positions in the feet. And I'm going to apply these movements alternately with music. So this time, I'm going to combine the two basic positions in arms and feet. That's more than a minute. See you next week.